guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at all of the weapon DLCs, including the weapons that come with maps. We're gonna fire all of them and compare their stats so that you guys can make an informed decision when purchasing weapons. But before we head into it, guys, I just wanna wish all of you a very happy and healthy 2021. Happy New Year. All right, so let's start with weapon pack one. So the first weapon we're gonna start with is the Virant 22 LR. This is the perfect weapon for shooting ducks and bunnies. This is a class one gun. So this is what you're gonna use on your turkeys, your ducks. You can use it on geese, along with shotguns, of course. And we have some turkeys down here, so that's a 4.3. Yeah, the 22 is super precise. I do take this gun with me to just about every map. So the second weapon in here is the recurve bow, which is a very, very difficult bow to use. It is meant to be used in very close range. So let's take it out right now. So you wanna get whatever you're shooting in very close. So I'm in Silver Ridge. This is definitely a weapon that I would highly recommend taking to the firing range and practicing with before you take it out. And I will actually show you later on in the video where exactly you'll find both of our shooting ranges. But that was a good shot. And the recurve bow is a lot of fun. Definitely gonna be using that more. And the final weapon in weapon pack one is the crossbow. And this is an amazing bow. Probably the strongest bow that there is, has an amazing scope that you can actually zoom in with. And it packs a punch, super powerful, amazing penetration, covers all the classes depending on which arrows you're using. And look at the penetration, just about went through this mountain goat and out the other side. I do love using the crossbow. And we have a black bear here. Oh, he didn't look very happy about that. No, he didn't. Yeah, and that, that is crazy penetration. So yeah, the crossbow is an awesome, awesome bow. That is a great weapon pack. All right, now we're gonna look at weapon pack two and we're gonna start with the Grelic Drilling Rifle. And this is an awesome gun. I use this gun quite a bit as I was leveling up when I reset my account because this gun goes all the way up to class nine. So I used this on all my class nine animals before I had enough to purchase the seven mil and it worked great. So that's a good shot on that Plains Bison. And the nice thing about this gun is it is two guns in one basically. So if you're using an Xbox controller, just hold down on Y and it flicks you over to the shotgun side. And that's where we are here. And so this is a 16 gauge shotgun you can use any of the shotgun ammunition, birdshot, buckshot, or slugs. Only has two shots, but it's handy to have a shotgun and a rifle all in one gun. And see there, I am flicking back and forth between rifle and shotgun. So that is a very cool weapon. And I got one pretty decent fur shot, I think. Let's see. Yep. That one was 87.8 meters. Not a bad shot with the shotgun. I almost think I am now better at the shotgun when hunting for birds without a scope. All right, so we're gonna move on to the Solikin, and I do love this gun. This used to be my main hunting rifle before 2.0. That's when they started to give us integrity with the 30 odd on most animals. So that's when things changed, but I do still love this gun. Lately, it has been playing a few tricks on me. It's been shooting a few blanks, but overall, it's just a very powerful weapon. Like normally I wouldn't use the Solikin on mountain lions, but look, it's doing an amazing job on them. Had no problem and I'm taking these mountain lions down from almost 300 meters. Didn't need a second shot, but thought I'd put him out of his misery. And not huge penetration. I mean, it is a pretty far shot, but does the job. I do much prefer the Solikin to the 243. I just trust it more. 
And the last weapon in Weapon Pack 2 is the Mangiafico. I don't know if I'm saying that right. 410 or the 45 Colt. So this is another gun that you can use two different ammunitions on. So right here I'm using the 410 Birdshot or I can switch out my ammunition to the 45 Colt hardcast bullets and I can shoot deer with that. Anything in class 2 to 5. So that's kind of neat. And this is an awesome way to level up your handgun. I think I'm actually going to take this gun out and shoot a bunch of ducks with this awesome duck decoy setups that I have on my map and level up my handgun. Awesome way to do that. I have not done that since I restarted on the PC, so I think that is an awesome plan. All right, moving on to weapon pack three. So we're going to start off with the Eckers 30 odd six which may be the most popular gun in the entire game. This gun is good for class four to eight. And we're gonna take this beautiful level three white tail down. And this gun just is good for so many different animal. It's just so accurate and I just love this gun. It has had some competition with the M1, but when people ask me which weapon pack to get, I usually ask them what their hunting preferences are, but generally I will recommend Weapon Pack 3 because of the 30 odd 6. Such a great gun. And then we have this amazing rifle, the air rifle, and I have just started using this. And it is so much fun. So this gun is only good for class 2 to 4, but it is so much fun to shoot things and not spook what is in the area. Down he goes. So this is a fun gun to take to New Zealand to hunt for feral goats. And it is a great substitution for the 243. So it is an awesome way to be very, very quiet and to be able to take lots and lots of animals down because you're not gonna spook generally what's in the area, unless you're really, really close to them. And then we have the Anderson 22 pistol. I don't love this gun, I'm not gonna lie. It is good for leveling up your handgun, but I much, I'm just making sure that bunny's good and dead. <laughs> and, and she is. But yeah, like I just prefer the 22 rifle just because of the long distance capabilities, that's why. And then we have the Smoke and Barrels pack and this is such an amazing weapon pack. So we have the M1. And this is probably my favorite gun in the entire game. Pretty much the same gun as the 30 odd six, has the same stats. Yes, we got the second one. So one of the reasons I love this gun is the way it sounds. I also love that it is a pound lighter and it has five bullets as opposed to the 30 odd having four. That's not a big deal, but it is a little benefit but I just, I always seem to pull the M1 out. I just love that gun. And this is a very, very popular weapon. This is the Hudzig muzzleloader. Now this is a very powerful weapon. You're only gonna get one shot. Has about a year and a half reload time. I'll show you the full animation of it reloading. Not really a year and a half, but a long time. But yeah, if you need a follow-up shot, you can just switch to another weapon and skip the whole reload and reload your muzzle loader after. So if you're concerned about that, that is an option for you. Just keep a weapon beside it that is good for the same class of animal that you're hunting and you will have that follow-up shot ready to go. And yeah, it leaves a big cloud of smoke, which adds to the mystery of whether you got your shot or not, but it is a lot of fun to use. And there are two different ammunitions and that's gonna cover a wide array of animals. It isn't quite gonna get up to class nine though. So you can't use this on the capes, but maybe, just maybe, they'll come out with another muzzleloader down the road. And then we have the Miller 1891 shotgun. So this is a 10 gauge shotgun, has three shots. My favorite shotgun is the Cacciatore. That does not come in a weapon pack. And the reason the Cacciatore is my favorite shotgun is because it has six shots. That is the reason. But yeah, that is not a bad shotgun. So we're gonna move on to the 300. 
and you're gonna find this awesome rifle in the Yukon DLC. You do have to still purchase it for in-game cash, unfortunately, but this is an amazing rifle. Great for long range shots, good for class seven to nine. Its competitor would be the 338, which is a single shooter gun. So the 300 beats it out. And our next DLC weapon is the King 470 DB. This is the strongest weapon in the entire game. It doesn't have a great scope. And down he goes. Special thanks to Corpse Gaming for sending me this clip. I do not actually own this gun since restarting. It is 90,000 in-game dollars to purchase, but it is very, very strong. Great for up close hunting. You gotta get them in real nice and close because as you can see, doesn't have the greatest scope, but up here in a tripod, call in your animal and it just laid the smack down on this lioness. So yeah, it is a very powerful gun. Perfect for Cape Buffalo and water Buffalo for sure. It's just uh, 90,000 is pretty, pretty expensive. Then we have the Cotter CB 65. And you'll find this bow in the high tech hunting pack with the night vision scope and binoculars. And the really nice thing about this bow is it comes with your rangefinder sight and you can actually put this rangefinder sight on other bows. And it just takes the need for binoculars totally out of the situation. You can spot your animal, measure the distance with your bow and take your shot all, all in one shot, just saves you time. And our next DLC weapon is the Alexander Longbow. And this bow comes with the Silver Ridge Peaks DLC. Now this is one bow that I would highly recommend taking to the shooting range and practicing with before you take it out and use it on real live animals. You know, real pixelated animals. You know what I mean. But yeah, with this bow, for me, I just keep my eyes on the tip of that arrow, especially at the closer ranges. You want to... Just wanted to shoot that there. You want to shoot animals at close range with this, with this bow. This is a close range bow. Seeing as it has no scope, it is a little more challenging. It's kind of in the family with the recurve, but I would highly recommend practicing with this until you get good and comfortable. That is good advice for any weapon. Anytime you get a new weapon, you want to take it to the shooting range. So this is the Parquet one. We have two in the game, one in Parquet Fernando, and I am going to show you on the map in just a second exactly where you'll find this. And we also have one in Hirschfelden, and I'm going to take you there as well. So here you're going to spawn in at the outpost and that outpost is Casita de Merida and you're just going to run down southwest. So now we are at the Hirschfelden shooting range and you can actually fast travel once discovered straight to the shooting range and start firing away. Got some nice long distances here and this is exactly where you will find it in Hirschfelden. Bottom right hand corner of the map. So we're going to use the Alexander Longbow on this black bear. It's good for class four to seven. And definitely you want to get them in as close as you can. And then wait for your health to drop. And that was a good shot. I love using this bow. It is definitely more challenging, but once you practice with it, it is a lot of fun to use. So that was the Alexander Longbow. And then we have the 6.5. Now the 6.5 is great for farming whitetail. It's good for class four to eight. It just doesn't have as good of quick kill as the 30 odd six in the M1 does. So it's great for smaller game like white tail and black tail, but on animals like red deer, you're going to have to track them a little bit once you shoot them, unless you get a heart shot, because as I mentioned, the quick kill isn't quite as good. So then we have the Norden 20 gauge shotgun. And this one comes in the duck and cover DLC. So this one has three shots. How many shots are in the shotgun? 
is one of the determining factors of how well I like a gun because reloading really slows you down, but not a bad shotgun. So my favorite shotgun, as I may have mentioned before, is the Cacciatore because it has six shots. So what I do with this gun is I will take two different variations and put them back to back. And once I use my three shots, instead of reloading, I will just move to the next one and use the next three shots. And that is a good way to get more ducks and to get around the fact that you only have three shots. And then we have the Strecker 20 gauge. And this shotgun comes in the Wild Goose Chase DLC. So I have added the red dot sight to the shotgun. You can put it on there, which is very handy. The shotgun only has two shots, so it's not quite as good for waterfowl, but it's pretty decent for smaller game animal like this blacktail. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you find it helpful in picking which DLCs work best for you. If you'd like to join us for more videos, that would be amazing. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one. You take care.